Hey guys, it's Luna. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Today I'm going to be doing 16 things that I learned at 16. I turned 16 in December, December 6th. So currently that would be a few months now. But you know, these tips will always be relevant and I hope they can be of help and news to you. Okay, number one, be kind because you never know what somebody else is going through. You never know what challenges they may face on a daily basis. And you can be kind by having manners. Is saying thank you can make a big difference in somebody's life. Even if you just smile at a random person, you can definitely bring some positivity into that person's world. You can make them seem known that they are somebody, you know? Number two, be kind to yourself because you are with yourself 24 7 so you may make mistakes number three love yourself just like number two be kind to yourself because you are with yourself all of the time and you can do this by just as you would do for other people really just by being nice to yourself speaking nicely to yourself i literally tell myself that i love myself every single day that is something that you can definitely do too number four focus on yourself this is definitely amazing if you may challenge have the challenge of comparing yourself to others focusing on yourself can definitely help you reflect be closer to yourself learn about yourself reflect on yourself and improve and grow adding on to comparing yourself definitely number five your thoughts are not always right we have over five thousand thoughts per day yeah we have over five thousand thoughts per day and that is just extremely amazing just know that we have so many thoughts going through our head your thoughts are not you your thoughts are just thoughts say more positive things to yourself number six you do not need a reason to cut people off not necessarily cut people off but just to maybe just stray away from them for say sometimes it isn't that people have to be the meanest people in the world to just not be aligned with them sometimes it's just your paths do not align and that is totally okay there's so many people in this world number seven cut out toxic people because you do not deserve that negativity number eight some people are not meant to stay some people they just move on and you move on and you just are on different journeys and that's okay number nine learn from the past do not dwell on it the past i feel like can teach us so many things we can ultimately not only the past but our mistakes they're not necessarily for us to just dwell on because there's no point. You cannot go back in time and change it. So why dwell on it any longer and just learn and grow from it and see what you can do better? Like let's say, for example, you didn't do good on a test. So now you know to study more, you know? maybe ask the teacher for some help number 10 nobody's opinion really matters except for yours 
because nobody is living in our skin like we do 24 7. somebody can tell us something but ultimately if it's not for us let's say somebody says that you know you should let's say somebody says that you should wear darker clothes you should wear all black if you're a person like me you're like no you can never go emo because you just love light colors you love the color pink you just love pastels overall like the rainbow so if you're happier in the lighter colors wear the lighter colors but if you're happier in the darker colors wear the darker colors but don't do it because somebody else says that you should do it for you number 11 do not take things to heart ultimately when people say things a lot of times even if it is advice it can definitely just be a reflection of what has happened in their past like let's say somebody says that you should somebody said that you should not drive let's see that advice can definitely be taken into different accounts let's say that person got into an accident and they are extremely terrified of driving so they do not want you to get into an accident and you to drive but just because that person got into an accident doesn't mean that you'll necessarily hopefully won't get into an accident but that thing that happened to them in the past definitely can add to the advice that they give you or opinion so especially when somebody says something mean let's say it could be because of some complications at home for say like maybe their fish died sadly but it's ultimately a reflection of them number 12 look at things outside of you what i mean by that is look at things from a third person point of view look at things as not always just yourself looking at them you're reading a book and you are or watching a movie and you're seeing yourself look at that from that point of view so let's say let's say you failed the test you studied for it but somehow you still failed right now if you just failed the test you're like oh my gosh the world is ending I bet you're gonna be super sad super disappointed which is totally natural and normal but it is ultimately not the end of the world when you see it from a third person point of view like i just take a step back and i look at it and it's like is this test the end of the world is does this test mean that i that like the world is ending no it doesn't so that has definitely helped me put things into a lesson degree of extremity but that's okay because there's gonna be other tests and now i know i can probably just study differently number 13 everything will be okay so let's say with that test you failed that test it's not the end of the world everything will be okay think about so many things that happened like let's say you were playing as a child and you lost your favorite toy like you're still here today you losing your favorite toy you failing that test is not the end of the world you got this number 14 you cannot make everyone like you no matter how hard you try there's so many different people in this world like i have had people tell me that they didn't like me because i was too nice which is totally okay because that's just they're not for me they're not my people and that's okay because there's so many people in this world 
that I don't focus on them because I know that there are people who definitely like me and love me and I like me and I am happy with myself and it's okay if somebody else does not like you because there are definitely people who are gonna like you and you that definitely should like you. Number 15, just because something does not work out does not mean you should give up. Okay, this can be seen in like different ways. What I mean by that is not if you have like a crush on somebody and you ask them out like 75 times, like don't do that guys. What I mean by that is you failed that test. That doesn't mean you should stop studying that means you should try a different way to study you should try maybe asking for extra help you should try tutoring you should try study methods and figure out what works best for you okay finally number 16 the last one nobody cares what I mean by that is not in the sense that your family and friends do not care about you and your loved ones do not care about you because hopefully they definitely do but I mean this in a sense that let's say you fall down the stairs, you trip, you fall straight on your face and let's say in PE you get hit in right on the head by a ball after that moment nobody is probably thinking about that like let's say somebody laughs like okay after that they're not gonna be really thinking about that when they go home when they sleep at night they're gonna be thinking about their own personal problems that they face on that day they're gonna be thinking about how about they're gonna have to take their dog to the vet because their dog may have some health condition or something. Ultimately, it does not matter that much for them. Anyway, that is it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I love each and every single one of you guys so much. Thanks so much for watching. See you guys. But also, I wanna add that I am literally just a girl, guys. Like. I am not a professional or anything, so just so you know, and that I hope at least some of these can be of some use to you. Yeah, see you guys.